Week five of the high school football season, the final week of the pre-league schedule for many. Okay, yes, the final pick me, uh, pick me game of the season in every classification, meaning things are really starting to heat up. I'm feeling the heat. Are you feeling the heat? Almost. Almost. It's like somebody's just turned on the stove. Okay. Which is why Ashley Moore is joining us now with the, uh, the three candidates for the game of the week. Kim, it's because I walked in. That's why you feel the heat. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> It's getting hot in here. <laughs> it's about to get real, real for the high school teams in Colorado. Many teams undefeated up until this point, but they're really good. Or they either played down their league schedule. But we're about to see the contenders versus the pretenders. But one thing about the pre-league is you get to schedule games against your rivals. So we begin with a small town, homegrown, cornbread fed rivalry in the Wellington Eagles taking on the Timnith Cubs. And this one is at CSU's Canvas Stadium for the Canvas Community Classic kicking off at 430. Now what you are looking at is the fun we had there last season because when I say small town football, these two communities show up and show out. Both teams play for the Box Elder Cup, in which either a sugar beet is placed in the trophy if Wellington wins or a potato for Timnath. Now, those are based on the city's crops. Last year, Wellington put up 50 in a sold-out affair, but Timnath is coming off a 55-0 shutout over Hinkley, so maybe it'll be the other way around. But once again, this one's at Canvas Stadium under the brightest lights. Further south, we have the Vista Peak Prep Bison taking on the Grandview Wolves at Legacy Stadium. Now, Grandview may just be one and three on the young season, but they may just have the most winningest name at starting QB. Blitz McCarthy is the signal caller who hopes not to get blitzed against while facing the Bison. Because for Vista Peak Prep, no team has put up 21 or more points on them through the first four games. A homecoming clash for Grandview looking to get another win before league play begins next week. And last but not least, it's a rivalry that has stood the test of time as of recent. The Erie Tigers taking on the Broomfield Eagles. They're the number one team in the state. Now Erie is your reigning class 4A state champion, but They've since moved up to 5A and dropped two games early this season. But the 4A state champion just the year before are the Broomfield Eagles, sitting at a pretty 4-0 this year, just barely escaping legacy last, sheet, last week. But for years, this matchup has been the battle of the quarterbacks. So which could very well be the storyline this year, but someone will also have to step it up on D. And Broomfield has one of the best DBs in the state. Where that you have it. All three Game of the Week candidates, Wellington versus Timnith, Vista Peak Prep versus Grandview, and Erie versus Broomfield. Voting is now live, and you can do so at 9news.com slash HSS. All right, looking forward to the vote. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Thanks, Ashley.